What's going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development and here at JFM Development we're all about the community, help you learn how to mix, learn new flavors, and ge generally anything to do with DIY. But today is a very exciting day. It's all about flavor art, blood orange. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so as I said, today is all about Flavor Art Blood Orange. Now this is one of Flavor Art's newer flavors. The bottle kind of looks like this. This one's the, from Nick Rivers, so if you get it from Flavor Art Direct, it's going to look a little bit different. If you get it from Bold City Flavors, it's also going to look a little bit different. But a lot of these other companies end up rebottling them, but that's just, you know, the looks of the bottle. But generally, it's supposed to be a blood orange flavor. So... First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the flavor directly on my hand and let you know what I think about it. And then we'll try the flavor tester that I uh, flavor tested about a week ago. I put it together. Actually, it's been about a week and a half now. And basically, I give it about a week and a half. And uh, I mixed it up at 3%. I used a rule of three with it. And I let it steep. But first, let's try it on the hand see what it tastes like. So if I'm while I'm smelling it though, what I'm getting is like a juicy orange flavor. It smells like the center of the orange. Yeah, off the hand I'm getting the same exact thing. It's a very realistic juicy orange. Now I'm getting like a lot of the center not really much of the like the rind if you get what i'm saying but it, it's a lot of the juicy orange middle like if you were to peel an orange and then eat those orange wedges exactly what it tastes like all right so now i taste it on the hand again as i told you before i dripped it in this i made a little tester about a week and a half ago I want to give it a little bit more time with these flavor testings now, just giving it time to steep, let it soak into the VG and PG. And yeah, so I already dripped it on this Troll V2. I, I'm just going to start using my Troll V2 for flavor testing. I'm going to tell you why. This is how I'm used to flavor. This is how I'm used to vaping. So I'm going to vape it in my style of vaping because it's what I'm used to. I found out it works better like that. I've used the Hadley. I've used the Derringer. But honestly, when it comes to me flavor testing, I get the best results using what I'm used to vaping. So that's why I'm going to use my Troll V2. It's it's my go-to RDA. All right, so here we go, guys. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so I'm getting exactly... What I was saying before, off the hand, it tastes like a really, really authentic tasting orange. But this orange is different than others. It's not candied at all. It's very real tasting, and it tastes, it tastes like the center of an orange. It tastes like a juicy orange wedge. And again, I don't get any of the orange peel. It just tastes straight like an orange wedge. Now, do I think this would work good as a single flavor? I mean, sure, if you just want a, a simple orange wedge type flavor, sure. But how I see this being used is I see this as a piece of the orange. I see this being used with numerous different oranges, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I was actually just watching uh, a show on YouTube. It was one of the Mixed Life shows. And I was very impressed by the way he was describing uh, how to use strawberries. And I kind of feel like this orange is the same way. And he was like, a lot of people look at sometimes strawberries as one strawberry being the single flavor rather than strawberries being pieces of the flavor. And you have to put them together to make one single flavor. And that's exactly how I see this orange being used. I see this as a piece of the orange uh, that you're going to have to use other oranges to get the full orange effect. But don't get me wrong. Could this be used as a single orange flavor? Sure, definitely. It's definitely a realistic type of... 
It's like the meat of the orange. Now, what flavors would this work good with? Okay, uh, again, if, if you want like an orange and cream type vape, you would mix it with different kind of creams, like maybe Vienna cream or, or fresh cream, or uh, maybe a marshmallow for that matter. But it would most likely go good with Royal Orange. It's another new one from Flavor Art. And actually, I do have a recipe that I'm about to release in conjunction with this video, using not only Blood Orange, but royal orange and a couple other flavor art and some other flavors because it works good I was going for an orange crush type soda vape and what I did was I mixed this orange with royal orange and then a couple other flavors which I will be releasing after this video so yeah I think this would go with good with other oranges other creams whatever you're trying to make an orange vape it, it would pretty much go good with it seems like a very forgiving flavor Now, as for the strength of it, yeah, uh, I think it's just about right on par with other flavor art flavors. I think it's, uh, well, let's just talk about how the community rates it. First, if you look on ELR, again, they have a flavor database which talks about most flavors and what the community is using this at. And what the community is using this at in recipes is the average mixing uh, quantity is 2.1% uh, and the median is about one8 okay? And then if you're looking at single flavors, it's 3.7% and the median is about 5. So about the rule of 3 when you're using single flavors and about you know, about half that when you're using it in conjunction with other flavors to meet a certain profile. So if you're mixing this with other oranges, kind of like what I did in my recipe, you kind of want to use that maybe one5 to 2%. And you don't really want to go above that. Otherwise, you're going to start drowning out the other flavors. Excellent, excellent orange flavor though. Definitely, uh, flavor art definitely hit it out of the out of the park again. It's definitely a really authentic meat of the orange flavor. When I say meat of the orange, I mean like those orange wedges. It's not like any of the skin. It's not a candied orange. It's like a straight orange piece. Like if you were to peel an orange and then take a wedge out and then chew on it, it would be exactly what it tastes like. So they're saying that I'm saying yeah use the rule of three if you want to flavor test it for yourself use it at the rule of three Use it in conjunction with other oranges and yeah, I think that's all I got for this flavor Now would I recommend this flavor? Yeah, definitely two thumbs up on this one this one You'll definitely get a lot of use of especially if you're looking for an authentic orange flavor this one will definitely get you there Very nice very nice orange flavor. Congratulations, Flavor Art. You hit it out of the park again. Now, just so you guys know, keep keep a lookout for the new uh, recipe. I'm going to release an orange crush flavor. I'm going to do another video showing you exactly how to make that orange crush recipe. It's going to be using this among some other new Flavor Art flavors. So make sure you keep an eye out on that. Now, if you guys need anything for your DIY arsenal, make sure you check the links in the description below. They have some great savings down there. And yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what flavors I should do next, leave it in the comments below. And you guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.